Hey Page Chaser peeps, I am Eric. Some of you may recognize me from the Instagram. This is the book haul for September. This month we are doing something a little different. It was brought to our attention at Page Chaser HQ that just like Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, everything seems to lead back to Max Lucado. So stay tuned for us to tie in the legendary author to um, everything. First, we're going to start with How to Lead in a World of Distraction by Clay Scroggins. Basically, Clay shows readers how to maximize their influence by incorporating four noise-canceling habits into uh, their daily lives. The first is finding simplicity, doing things like cleaning out your closet, dressing like Mark Zuckerberg, you know, having the same t-shirt, making your life more simple. And the next is speaking to yourself. I do this already. Uh, it keeps people from following me too closely in the grocery store, you know, just muttering to myself. But I think this is more about just paying attention to yourself and, and making sure you take time to listen to yourself. The, his third and the hardest for me is getting quiet. And um, the last is pressing pause, which uh, the example he takes is from the Sabbath. So that's, that's really interesting. Speaking of Hotlanta endorsements, author Bianca Juarez Olthoff's book, How to Make Your Life Not Suck, is endorsed by Shelley Giglio, wife of best-selling author Louis Giglio, who is part of Atlanta's Passion City Church. Shout out to the Dirty South, y'all. Um, in How to Have Your Life Not Suck, Bianca gives advice on everything from careers to relationships. I especially love how she places so much importance on finding a good mentor. I am looking for a mentee myself, so if you're looking for one, a mentor that is, you can uh, go ahead and advocate for yourself in the comments. One of the main messages in How to Have Your Life Not Suck is to trust in God's goodness, even during loss, betrayal, and unanswered questions. And you know who really needs that message in their life? Harper Taylor, the main character in Colleen Coble's new book, Strands of Truth, right here. Filled with suspense, romance, and secrets that span generations, Strands of Truth keeps me chasing them pages and barely able to sit down while I'm doing so. The main character, Harper, grew up bouncing from foster home to foster home until a certain Oliver Jackson takes her under his wing. Colleen does romance so well. You know Oliver's got a hotshot son named Ridge. Seriously, his name is Ridge Jackson. I'm so down for this. I may start going by Ridge myself. Anyways, years later, Oliver is attacked, Harper and Ridge have to work together to solve the mystery, and that is all I'm going to tell you. Except that Harper's mom never told her the name of her father before she died, and in Tiger Queen, there is another deceased mother causing all sorts of problems. Tiger Queen is by Annie Sullivan, and she does it again. Princess Kateri promised her late mother that she would protect her people. She rules the mythical desert kingdom of Accra, and nothing is easy there, and protecting your peeps is a full-time job. There is no water, so naturally her people are dehydrated. And then there are these dirty little desert boys taking all the water that there is. So on top of having no water, there's even less because of these little guys. The punishment for stealing is facing a tiger. And now I'm not saying anything about today's political climate, but I think these Akron people could use a little bit of I think you are wrong, but I'm listening by Sarah Stewart Holland and Bess Silvers. A disclaimer on this one, it's not a new fall release. It's already available. So go get it because the world needs it, I promise. The ladies who run the Pantsuit Politics podcast came together to write a book on how to not hate people because they believe something different than you. And I just think we can always use a little more of that in our life. It's about relationships, people, and more importantly, relationships. We need them, we cherish them, and we need to be nice to them. As I mentioned, one of the authors of I Think You Are Wrong But I'm Listening is named Sarah. And you will never guess who has a daughter named Sarah. Max Lucado! See, we did it. We got back to it. Uh, Sarah Lucado's dad, Max, is coming out with a new book this September too. How Happiness Happens. Can you believe that only 33% of Americans consider themselves happy? That leaves 67% of people miserable. Not happy. Now if you live in Nashville, like I do, and you have to deal with the traffic, then I understand. But what about the rest of the world, or country? 67%? 
I think we need this book. That is the book haul for September. All of these are available on audio, which is my favorite way to catch up on all of our titles. Um, thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram.